Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you here today. If you like what you see and you've not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, please hit that bell button so you're notified whenever I upload. Everyone, please give me a thumbs up as that really helps me out here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five amazing DIYs that you can make for under $5 each with one bonus DIY as one of my projects is double-sided. So now let's go ahead and jump right into the crafting with this bunny and carrot box. Project number one is super easy and fun to make. You will need an easel from Dollar Tree, a small wooden easel. They come in several different colors. A wooden crate from Dollar Tree. This is the one where the slats are not separated very much. And also this garland from Dollar Tree that has these gingham print bunny and carrots. You can use any color bunny that you like or even the carrot if you wanted to. And some moss from Dollar Tree. I'm going to begin with a color paint that is very similar to the bunny that I have chosen and I'm going to paint my crate with two coats of that color. Next I'm going to stand my easel up right inside of that crate. It is a perfect fit and then I am going to add some hot glue to the back of the easel where those sides are going to attach to the inside of my crate. I will also add some hot glue to the back part of the easel and just allow that to rest up against the outside of my crate and that way everything is nice and stable but I can reuse it later if I should choose to do so. Next I'm going to add some hot glue to the back of my little bunny and place it toward the top of this easel sign allowing room at the bottom for some carrots. I had these cute little roses from Hobby Lobby that I purchased on clearance and I just used a small portion of the package to create a little floral crown on top of my bunny and hide those little holes from where the garland went through. I added some of the moss and a few of the carrots and here's what this looks like for under $5 and you still have a lot of product left over for another DIY. I hope that you like this one and moving on to the next one we're going to make a gingham print bunny sign. This is super easy and super cute. So I just grabbed a sign that I had in my stash. I actually got this sign back when everything was a dollar, but any sign that you have in your stash or even a piece of foam board would work. I have this package of trim from Dollar Tree and we're not using the whole thing, as well as three different packages of these gingham bunnies from Dollar Tree, but we're not using them all. I removed the twine from my sign and painted my sign with Waverly White Chalk Paint. I am then going to lay out my bunnies in a pattern that I like and again we'll have several bunnies left over so this project is under five dollars the way that I did this was just added some hot glue to the very middle of each bunny and that way if I needed to mess with the arrangement of the feet later on I could just pop those feet out because they were not glued down so hopefully that makes sense because here I noticed I had a little mistake in my pattern so I was able to just pull the feet out and fix my pattern so there's what that looks like now I came in with this piece of trim from that trim package from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take this adorable little bunny trim and wrap it around the top attaching on each side with some hot glue and that is about how easy this project is. You could set it on a vignette or you could add a hanger to the back but I just think that this is so sinking cute. You could even add letters to each bunny if you wanted to spell out Welcome Easter with a little space in the middle. If you use 12 bunnies like I I did you could totally do that okay guys let's talk about today's challenge it is hosted by my friends missy over at the crafty cove and emily from farm charm chic i love this playlist they do an amazing job every month and their guest host this month is dawn from designs by gladys you guys will have to check these ladies out i'm going to have them all linked below in my description box i'm also going to list link the playlist down below so you guys can get tons of amazing easter decor inspiration okay let's jump back into the diys with this reversible pizza sign DIY which is a twofer. I began by painting this entire pizza pan with several coats of Waverly Snow White chalk paint. You can sand your pizza pan first so it takes the paint better. Then I grabbed these window cleans from Dollar Tree that are absolutely adorable and I am going to apply some glue stick to the back of this truck and I'm just going to place it on the back of my pizza pan like so just kind of smoothing it down. You could use a stronger glue stick. Mine was a little bit weak or you could 
Mod Podge to adhere your window clings. I then grabbed a little 3D bunny butt that comes in a pack from Dollar Tree. I believe there are six butts to a pack. And I glued that right on top of the bunny butt in the image to give it a 3D effect. I then grabbed some of this crafting rope from Hobby Lobby. This is just a very small piece of the huge roll that I purchased. I really love this crafting rope. It is super soft and cottony. And it actually is placed where the actual rope is at Hobby Lobby. It is my new favorite crafting find and they have it in several different colors. I go around the edge of that pizza pan twice and just glue down my edges. Here's what the first sign looks like. The only thing I would have done a little bit differently is just completed the other side before gluing on that butt, but I still made it work with the butt attached and all. So now let's get into the bonus, which is the flip side of this DIY. So by the time you reach this point in the DIY, your pizza pan will already be painted your color of choice. I grabbed some different window clings that I liked from Dollar Tree as well, applied some glue stick to the back of this gorgeous bunny, and placed it right in the middle of this pizza pan. So here is what that looks like. And I am using the inside or the front side of the pizza pan for this. I then added a couple of smaller embellishments off of that window cling sheet and a bow I had pre-made for another project with two loops on either side. I just attached the bow and tried to angle it downward so it didn't show through the other side. I added a couple of tiny roses that I had in my stash that I purchased off of a pick at Hobby Lobby and here you go it's adorable but I decided to take it up one more step by putting some Waverly Valley slipper chalk paint on a brush and just brushing around the edge of my pizza pan on this side and for under five dollars you have an adorable double-sided craft you still have tons of window clings left over that you can use for other projects I would recommend getting a plate stand from Dollar Tree to stand this pizza pan on okay let's move right into our next DIY the square floral sign this one is super easy and we're going to use some of the window clings left over that had that bunny on it and also the square sign from the Dollar Tree that already has a beautiful beaded hanger attached. So we're just going to go ahead and put some glue stick on the back of this gorgeous little Easter Blessings window cling and place it in the middle of our sign smoothing it down. Again you can use Mod Podge if you want it to. I'm going to paint the frame of this sign with my Waverly ballet slipper chalk paint and here are those tiny little roses from Hobby Lobby that are $2.99 but you can purchase them 50% off and I just used a few of them off of that bunch along with some of this greenery that I had in my stash. I'm just going to create a little swag at the top side of my sign and here's what it looks like. It looks absolutely precious placed with my pizza pan so I hope that you like that idea. Our last and final DIY today is a baby chick Easter sign. I had this sign in my stash from Dollar Tree and I decided that I would just go ahead and remove the frame and use the frame on the flip side so I didn't have to worry about that pesky paper. I peeled off the frame and as much of the paper as I could on the frame and on the sign itself. Then I flipped the sign over and painted it with Snow White Waverly chalk paint, two coats, and I reattached the frame on my fresh and clean side. I did cover the other side with some craft paper to give it a finished look. And then just went ahead and glued down my frame pieces using hot glue, just a small amount so it doesn't squish out on the sides. This is a quick and easy way to give any of Dollar Tree's framed signs a fresh look. I'm going to go back in with some of these window clings that we used in the previous project. I'm going to take the Happy Easter cling and it had one of those little chicks attached but it made it too long for this sign so I just trimmed that chick off. For this one I did use Mod Podge on the back of my Happy Easter sign and also on the back of these adorable little chicks which I placed a trio down just the alternating heights that I thought looked cute. Once I had all my clings placed, I did go over this entire sign with a coat of Mod Podge. I paired it with this beaded garland from Dollar Tree that I thought it looked absolutely perfect with. You could use the garland as a hanger, but I just wanted to kind of leave it loose. And here's what this looks like. It's so cute, so fun, and festive for the Easter or holiday spring season. 
I absolutely love crafting with window clings and I love how many projects you can get just out of one sheet. So thank you so much again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I know today's video is a little bit shorter than usual, but I still hope that you find some inspiration. Here is a last look at some of the DIYs we've made today. This Easter blessing sign, our reversible bunny sign, also a happy Easter sign, and our little bunny in the carrot garden. I also hope that you like these little Ginga print bunnies and come back to see me soon. Take care, friends. You can subscribe to my mom's channel. And thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.